What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to this temporary uh, filming space that I've got. My normal filming area is currently being uh, used. It's currently a construction zone as there is some electrical work going to be done in the next week. So needed to clear out the space so that the uh, professionals can get in there and do their thing. Uh, but until then, just wanted to do a very quick video on the Dart Zone Outlaw. So I have done a couple of quick things that I had um, with this blaster and I have to say overall, a uh, very fun blaster, really great design to see um, what they um, have done with this. And uh, it's got great performance. You know, it's got this crazy hammer prime. Um, I've never had a hammer prime blaster. But of course, when I got this, my son went out and bought one the next day. So we've both been having really fun um, just shooting this around the house. So obviously the big thing with this blaster, if you just have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, this is a Hammer Prime blaster. Comes with a cylinder two in the package, six shots um, with a safety right here. It also has a single dart feed so that if you run out of darts in your cylinder, you can feed one into this uh, next slot. And when you prime your blaster, it will be the next one that is ready to fire. Um, when my son got this, of course, he looked at me and was like, all right, dad, what, uh, what are the modifications? How are we making this, you know, thing hit harder? Um, and honestly, just from the couple of tests that I've done, um, I don't think that this really needs any internal modifications. The only thing I could think of, uh, similar with other dart zone, um, products, putting in a spacer, for the spring might help this. Um, I don't know if there's space in here to be able to do that, and I don't know that it would need it. Um, overall, this gets some pretty decent ranges, and uh, again, is a kind of a very niche, bla niche blaster. So you can run with it, you cannot, um, totally up to you. But again, I think something that is really fun to have um, just in your arsenal. Um, where I think the outlaw can improve upon, obviously, are external modifications. And there are two designers out there, Xbox Games and Red Cowl, um, who have already come out with some cool looking external mods for this blaster. Um, I know that they have a top rail system, uh, a bottom rail system. I know that they have a safety delete replacement. Um, I don't know if they have a trigger. I believe they do. And the most importantly, and funnily enough, they have an extra cylinder. Now, like I said, this blaster comes with two of these, but um, two will not get you through a battle quickly, and you're going to be constantly reloading one, one, one here and uh, until you get tagged out. And these guys have come up with their own design for a printed cylinder. Now, this is one of five designs I think they have. I believe they've got the traditional hexagon um, shape. They've got a perfectly round one. They have one I think called a swoop. Um, and then they have this one I think they call the python. But this is pretty much your standard uh, revolver cylinder and works exactly the same and rotates and it fires off really well. Um, so, and you know, pops out. The cool part about this is that now, you know, I could make multiple of these and have them all in my dump pouch uh, running around with some cylinders. The thing I do like about this cylinder and maybe it's just because of my printer is that the darts are a little bit more snug fit inside this cylinder. Whereas in the stock one, they're a tiny bit looser. So if I turn it upside down, the darts will start to fall out and um, either, either halfway or completely out. And I found that if I was carrying my blaster down, whichever one was in the barrel would already slide down halfway into this barrel, sometimes all the way out. So when I went to go and fire, I was just shooting air or sometimes if, you know, if one actually did fall into this barrel, 
and then I rotated it, I suddenly had two shots coming out and not knowing why. And until I happened to see that this one is a little bit loose. So it could be with the darts that I had, they weren't completely new, um, but no one's gonna be running with completely new darts all the time. So that is um, one thing on this stock cylinder that I found that um, it is what it is. And obviously on, on this printed one, it's, and again, it could just be because my, my printer may not be as accurate as this, um, but the darts were a little bit more snug. And it could also be because of the print lines. So this print that I did is standard quality. It's not a fine or you know, a very extra detailed quality print. Um, and that might make a difference in all of the findings that I have found um, for this design and this print. But overall, standard quality works great. The, what I found in my tests in six shots with same darts, both this one and the stock, um, the FPS drop between the two was about 10 FPS. So this went 10 FPS on average higher than the printed stock. Now, is 10 FPS really gonna kill you in a game? No, especially with the range that this blaster has. Um, but, you know, it is possible also that because of the standard quality print that I had, that that is cause for the drop, especially because you have the print lines. My printer is not the most accurately and finely tuned machine out there. You obviously, there is obviously lines out here. I do get some elephant foot sometimes. I have to sand. It's something that you know I am perfectly fine with. So I could try this print out at a much finer detail, uh, but I'm probably just not going to do that. I just don't think it's worth it for me for this print. But so let's get to this design. There are three parts that you need to print out for this. Obviously, the cylinder body itself. There is the lock mechanism. And then there is the rotation mechanism. Those three parts are all you need. They don't need supports, which is great. Um, on the cylinder itself, there is a recessed area here. I did put in supports into this area just to make sure it was perfectly flat. Um, that was the only thing I did on that. And then on this piece, which I printed straight up, I printed a small brim just to make sure it's stuck onto the plate. And that was the only um, supports that I did. The rotation mech itself, you can print um, this straight up with no supports itself. On top of that, you do need a small screw. I didn't write down <laughs> the size uh, or the dimensions of this screw, so I will put that somewhere down below. And then you also do need two springs. These are very tiny springs. And the designers found um, their springs with some Bic mechanical pencils. Now they do reference um, some exact pencils to find. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did not get the exact ones. These are um, Bic extra comfort pencils, 0.07 lead. Um, it's not the same that they had in their picture, but I think the spring that they use in these pencils is the same. Um, the dimensions when I measured out the, for the spring is a 14 millimeter long by 3.75 millimeter diameter spring. When I went online to see if I could find something on Amazon, um, just so I didn't have to waste a whole pack of pencils, um, the closest I could find was a 10 millimeter by 3 millimeter di diameter spring. I didn't purchase it. I don't know if it will work. Um, but you could try that and see if it does work in place of this. I think it should. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't. It might just be a little bit harder to just line all the parts up and put it together. There isn't a lot of travel that is needed um, for the cylinder itself to work, but um, I don't know. You can try it out and uh, see you know, if your results work just as well. But like I said, overall, um, the printed cylinders work great. Um, I definitely love the traditional cylinder or their Python design. 
uh, which I will be using and running a little bit more. Um, luckily, I found this pack of pencils was on sale since schools and staples are um, having sales. But overall, if you have an outlaw, if you plan to get an outlaw, uh, look up these designers, Xbox Games and Red Cowl. Um, I don't know where you can purchase or, or buy their designs yet. Um, when I do find out, I will put that in the description. Um, but check them out. They've got some great stuff. I really love the, these the designs. Um, I love how they came out. And again, very simple, very easy to do with minimal hardware. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope to see you guys later. If you guys have any questions or comments, please write them below. Um, love to hear from you guys. All right, that's all I've got. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.